guys, today will be a first impression video. We had a Snapchat war, which brand I was going to do first. I got two more first impressions to do. And this one was surprising, surprisingly. It's a drugstore brand, Hard Candy. You guys know we all know about Hard Candy. They are in Walgreens. And nope, mm -mm, nope. They're in Walmart, and we all love their packaging, their glitter, you know, stuff like that. So they have some new products that hit I will be showing you guys today. Um, being that they are only found in Walgreens, I tried to research some places that sell them online, and I, don't, I didn't find any, but you can find some hard candy on eBay and Amazon. So what I thought I would do is tell you a way to get free money to get this stuff off of eBay and Amazon, especially Amazon. You guys know I talk about opinion outposts all the time. They sponsor me all the time. I leave their link below in a lot of my hauls because it's super easy. It's just where you take surveys and they give you either PayPal cash or Amazon credits. After you take, you have so many points from taking the surveys, you trade them in for Amazon and or um, PayPal money. They always sponsor me, always, always sponsor me, and they are sponsoring this video for me too. Um, you know, we have a connection like that, so I figured, you know, since this is not a brand you can find everywhere, I had to go another route to where you guys will be able to find it if you like the items, and I just said, why not figure out a way to give you guys free cash to do it so make sure you check out opinion outpost if you guys follow me and you don't know what opinion outpost is girl what have you been doing but if you are new to my channel or never heard of opinion outpost you just sign up you have to qualify for the surveys once you take them you get points you trade the points in for gift cards and cash okay that's simple so anyway back to hard candy Okay, guys, let me just show you what all I was sent, okay? I have a few items. Uh, one of them is a lipstick. Gorgeous packaging, right? And this lipstick is in Thunder. And it is a very pretty purple. I'll show it to you guys. Very true purple. Blue-based purple. Okay, kind of vampy. So, I also got the Camouflage Concealer. You guys, I am so disappointed. So disappointed that I want to cry. When I've used items from this line before, it was more like eyeshadows. And they weren't my favorite, but, you know, I was just like, mm, drugstore, blah, 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 whatever. But I had so many hopes for these products. And as you guys can see, my face is not on fleek. So stay tuned to the end for the demo. But let me just show you what I was sent real quick. And I'm going to go in the order of least favorite, okay? So they sent me this camouflage concealer. Right here is heavy duty concealer right here. And they sent it in medium. I did pick medium out because I thought that I would be able to highlight with it. But medium came out on my skin so white. If you got so white, this concealer was not blending for me. I mean, it just kept going and going and going. You know how when you pat the sponge? After a while, it sets in. No, it just kept going and spreading. And it was just awful to me. So, I definitely would not recommend this concealer. Even if I had the right color, I wouldn't recommend it. I see a lot of people use this. Maybe it's just not for me. Or maybe I used the wrong te technique. But, no ma'am, Pam. So, next was this Hard Candy Camouflage Foundation. Right here. Now, I was highly upset that this was the deepest shade. Yeah, this is the deepest shade right here. The deepest shade. And when you guys see the demo, this is uh, tan, by the way. You're going to see that this did not work out for me. It looks like it would match me right now, but oh, when it sprayed it on that skin. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, next I sent over this look. Pro Ultimate Strobing Kit. In here you get a blush, a bronzer, a highlighter, and two highlighters. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. A blush, a bronzer, two highlighters, and a strobing cream over here. I did not use that. I was just so disappointed. <laughs> I didn't even touch it. Um, what I will say is this is too light for me. The blush was okay. 
but the highlighter shades are bum. If they could just make these highlighter shades in a single by itself, oh, I would definitely purchase that because especially that deeper gold one was bum. Next was this makeup setting spray. Um, honestly, I can't get a full test of this spray because I'm not going to even leave this on, okay? So, yeah, but they have a setting spray. I will add below if it worked for me or not. I don't really know. So, look in the description box under the video, and I will tell you guys how this worked out for me. Also, with that strobing kit, they did send a brush. Here's the brush right here. This worked out for me. <laughs> a brush is, you know, pretty easy. And then they sent this lipstick. It's one of their newer lipsticks. And this packaging is adorb, right? Adorb. And the color is Thunder. 1053 Thunder. Now, if you see the top right here, in my lips, it looks a little, a lot darker on my lips, right? And I, the finish is just real creamy and slippery. So you, I just knew this was going to be a bomb matte color. But you will have to line your lips with this lipstick because the lipstick spreads, okay? So, um, that's my opinion. <laughs> Let's get to the demo. So, I already have my brows and my lashes and a little bit of liner on. So, we're going to go straight for the kill and try the camouflage foundation. Like I said, I'm almost 100% sure this is too light, especially being that I have a tan right now. So, and it's just, I think it's just very sad that this is the deepest shade that it come in. You guys know I'm always going to keep it 100% 100, so that's my story. But it says it absorbs oil, camouflage imperfections, and delivers a long-lasting velvet finish, okay? So if it's my color, or if they had my color, it would be my type of foundation. Because you guys know I love to stay matte, and I love a velvet-like finish. So let's just apply this and see what happens. So there is a pump on here. That's a plus and it is one ounce look like it. Um, yeah, 1.1 ounce. So I'm just going to pump some on my hand like always. I always shake new foundation up. Hardly feel like it's anything in here. Yeah, this is not going to be my color. Mm -mm. But we're just going to go for it. Since they think this is the darkest we get. Yeah, um, no. You know what? I'm just gonna keep on going. Because I'm not even the deepest of deep. And this is how this foundation look on me, y'all. So obviously, the foundation gets two thumbs down for me. One, it's not the right color. Two, this is the deepest shade, so even if I did like the finish, I could even go get another color. So what I'm going to do is just put a foundation that match on top of this of another brand so I can continue to review the rest of the products. Okay, so I've added my melanin back in my skin as much as I could. My ring light is pretty bright also, but it's day and night from what it just, you know, what it was looking like, okay? So... Yeah, I don't medium concealer of this type of situation right here. Lord, here goes nothing. It almost look white on my face, like seriously. I don't know what's going on here, heart candy. But, to their defense, it is shades darker than this. I think I picked medium to highlight with, but didn't think it would be this medium. So, the pictures look kind of deceiving, obviously. But we're just going to see if we can make it work. So, I set that to try to save it from selling into my lines like it was doing. But that concealer also came with a little bitty concealer pencil, which would probably be good for like, a lot of people use these in their waterline, but it's a little pencil. So, I'm going to set my face with the rest of my powder and stuff and come back with the rest of the product. 
Okay, I guess it's safe to say that the concealer is too light. Also, also, even with the concealer set, you guys can see that it just, it's not a good look, you guys. It's still creasing, and it didn't even give me full coverage. I feel like my imperfections are still peeking through, so let's just move on. So I'm going to go in with the Peachy Tone Blush in this palette. And I'm already not that fond of light peachy tones like this. You guys, this is not going well for me, right? My feelings low-key hurt because I really wanted this to work. So, just going to pop that blush on. Put a little peachiness to my cheek. And then next what I'm going to do with the darkest highlighter in the palette is um, apply that. I'm just going to keep it working. Okay. Finally getting somewhere. Let's just go ahead and go in with the lipstick. has a fruity scent to it it's pigmented I can say that but I'm, I'm just gonna shake it and go for it so yeah that's the demo you guys Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out my previous video right here.